Hi. Uh, right now, I want to explain what I would like you to do uh, when it comes to the test that I will proctor. When I say that you need to go to Zoom and you need to show me your ID, okay? Uh, basically, uh, once you go online, I want you to show me your ID just to confirm that it's you. So you show me your ID, make it close enough. Uh, your Zoom, you may want to make your Zoom to be full, uh, full screen such that you can tell what I see. Okay, so let's say this is my ID. Let's say this is my ID, then I will show my ID close enough to the screen and hold it for a while and see the chatting. Like see the chat until I say yes, I confirm I already see your ID. Okay, now your ID should be a picture ID. Okay, uh, ID with your name and with your face. Okay, now once you're done, then you print up your test. You print up your test. You should show me that your test is a blank test. So let's say this happens to be the solution already. Okay, so you should show me that, oh, the test is blank, right? You show, assume this is a blank test, okay? And then after that, you work on that. If you need to go to restroom, you need to let me know. Okay? Every time you get away from your screen, you need to let me know. Now, then, uh, during the test, you need to manage your screen, your webcam, in a way that I can, you can see my hand, especially. Okay, so directed in a way that I can see your hand, uh, both your hands. Okay, in this case, you cannot see my face though. So I need to actually control my, uh, I need to control my desk a little bit. Okay, so uh, you control your desk a little bit. Okay, such that I can see your hand. Uh, it's, it doesn't, I don't really hold it super strict, but uh, yeah. basically uh, don't make it in a way that I only see your face. And then uh, yesterday I caught somebody cheating because uh, for the whole period, that person just look at the screen. You can tell that person's not right. Okay, but all of a sudden, while that person's still staring at the screen, suddenly his test actually uh, are already uploaded. Now you now you tell me, I was recording it, and I can tell that person's actually have somebody else did the test for him. Okay, now no, don't do that. Don't don't do that. Now once you're done with your test, I need you to hold the test to the screen in a way that I can see what you wrote, okay? And I want to make sure that's what you post, that's what you upload. Because it is possible you write one thing here and then somebody else actually did it uh, for you in other place. And then when you scan it, that person also scan it and what that person scan, uh, what, you up, uh, what you scan is not what you upload but the one being uploaded is what that person did. Okay, so now that's another thing that I don't want to happen. Okay, yeah. Uh, so if, uh, what happened Thomas, if my scanner is not in the same room with my, uh, with my Zoom? Well, just leave your Zoom on. Uh, tell me that Thomas, I'm going to the other room. Okay, I'm ready to scan it now. This is my test. Okay, can you see that Thomas? Oh yeah, okay, that's clear now. Go ahead, uh, scan it. Then when you go scan it, you don't take one hour, okay? You don't take one hour. Yesterday, I actually have, no, uh, not yesterday, actually on Monday. On Monday, I have somebody actually uh, went to Zoom only for 45 minutes for a two hours test. That's another another test, not the, uh, that's a two hours class. So that person actually get on Zoom for only one hour and suddenly disappeared for one hour Okay, I thought that person gave up the test. And then all of a sudden, the test is uploaded. Okay, and I say, no, you, I, I told that person, no, uh, you disappeared from my, my screen for too long. It's for sure, it's more than 45 minutes. And the integrity of your test is questionable. If you disappear and your test suddenly show, uh, just show up right away on my canvas, and I can take it. But the thing is the time between you disappear to the time I saw your test is uploaded is uh, at least 45 minutes. The integrity is being questionable 
and therefore I want you to take the test again. Okay, of course, different tests. And after the appointment, that person say, Thomas, uh, I figure out that uh, uh, the remote learning, uh, learning through campus is not my thing. I really want to say BS to that person because what? For them, this class is, quick, uh, is week number five. So they already have tests before. And all of a sudden saying that, you know what, this is not my thing. So was that your thing for the first four weeks? Strange, right? Okay, uh, I really just, this person just drop. Don't tell me anything. Don't give me excuses. Just drop. Okay, and if I catch you, if I found you, you're cheating, uh, I, of course, I usually warn, uh, but I, if I were you, if my teacher found me cheating, I would just drop that class because I'm somebody who, uh, not only that I don't appreciate it, uh, I actually dislike it, okay? I actually dislike it. Uh, you know from the very beginning that summer class, uh, this is a math class to start with, so you don't expect that to be easy, okay? Especially if you take it in the summer, that's fast, okay? So uh, saying that, uh, you know what, Thomas, I just have this issue, I have that issue. Now, you know since the beginning that you need to manage that, okay? You need to manage that. Now, other issue. I have students told me that, Thomas, I only have a phone, I don't have computer right now, and I don't have printer. So what happened is I need to use my phone to look at the test and therefore I cannot have it uh, on Zoom. So what should I do? To be honest with you, you need to figure out, okay? But uh, for this test tool, for this test tool, I let you get away if you, but you need to still use your phone, okay? Talk to me first, okay? I want you to show me the situation in your surrounding, okay? And then, uh, then you start the test, okay? I assume because you don't have printer, then you will write it on the paper, right? And then you will look at the test. What I know, actually you can turn on the Zoom and still look at your smartphone, okay? You can turn on the Zoom and look at the smartphone and if I see that you are not, uh, if you do something strange that is suspicious, then I will, uh, through the chat, I will talk to you. I will say, hey, uh, Miss so and so, Mr. so and so, can you use your smartphone to let me check your surrounding? Okay, and I need you to do it right away. Okay, I need you to do it right away. Now, uh, it is possible you have printer, but you don't have a webcam, so you need to use your uh, smartphone as a webcam. Now then, uh, it's kind of hard to put it like this, like, uh, like uh, let's say it leans to the wall, right? Such that it may only show you, show the face without showing your desk. What you can do is you actually put some book tall enough such that the smartphone actually tilt down. Okay, such that the camera can show part of your face and uh, mm -hmm. most of your desk. Okay, so you put a book in front of that such that it's tilt forward. Okay, instead of make it lean to the wall, such that it's tilt upward and all I see only ceilings. No, I don't need. Okay, the purpose of using, I need you to go online to Zoom is to check if uh, to guarantee that the integrity of the test is, uh, at least we try to uh, make it uh, verifiable, okay? Yeah, that's what I want to say for your test and uh, for, for your Zoom also. For sure, for your test three in future, uh, it has to be, I want that, that Thomas, I only have one uh, one smartphone, then borrow another one, okay? Don't tell me that you don't have this, you don't have that, while that's actually something you know will happen on the first day of class when I told you, when you take the, my test, it will be like this, okay? Telling me that you don't have this, you don't have that, 
uh, suddenly you don't need to do that? No. Then you need to find another way to make your test, the integrity of test is verifiable. Okay? The burden is actually on your side, not on my side. Okay? The burden is on your side. Okay? Uh, what else? Mm, I think that's all. If you have other issue, of course, you can let me know in advance. Okay? But uh, no, I I don't want excuses. I'm sorry. Okay, you know this will be a remote, and therefore uh, there should be a method for us to maintain the integrity of the test. And you are part of the you are part of the scheme. You are part of the uh, you are an ingredient. You are a member of this community to make it successful and to say that you don't have this you don't have that after you sign up for this class knowing those requirements uh of course make me suddenly like if if i were your teammate you will piss me off why because then last minute you suddenly say i don't have this i don't have that so what you have done so far okay why did you take this class knowing that you're supposed to have that and now you don't have that okay uh mm. But the, 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 to, the reason I tell this so that it, it runs smooth tomorrow uh, or when you take this test in other time that I need to check your ID, okay? And then I need to check your paper before and up before you start working on that, after you're done, before you scan, okay? Between you done and scanning it and it shows up on my, on my canvas uh, supposed to be less than 10 minutes. Okay, yeah. Uh, can you go to restroom? Of course, but every time you leave the screen, let me know because I will take note on how long it, uh, you go to uh, away. Okay, uh, that's for this direction for your Zoom test. Okay, see you then tomorrow or other time. Bye.